What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. Now listen, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Come rock out with your boy. Hit the like button. Share out the video. Indulge in the conversation that's going to happen down below in the comment section. But anyway, um, and also like I said, you know, rock out with your boy. Now there are uh, PlayStation Five rumors are heating up. Microsoft, I, I guess when it said Microsoft got the, I won't say the jump on Sony. But they came out last year, E3, and it said they're working on, I like say, next generation Xbox consoles, you know, Project Scarlet or Xbox Scarlet. And, you know, Sony just recently came out this year and confirmed that they're also working on the PlayStation 5. No brainer, but let's get back into, back into these into these PlayStation 5 rumors. Where there's smoke, there's fire. It says here, PlayStation 5 rumor to use the 8 core. Ryzen CPU and cost five hundred dollars. Now listen, if you've been rocking out with me on my channel for a while, I've told you guys don't expect the PlayStation Five to be under at least at a minimum of five hundred dollars. And just going by basis business one hundred one, Sony gave us the PlayStation Four Pro in two thousand sixteen. That was four point one T flops, and they wanted four hundred dollars for that. And at a minimum, at a minimum. We're talking, uh, uh, the, you expect the PlayStation 4, I'm sorry, the PlayStation 5 be at least twice as powerful as the PlayStation 4. So, if the Pro, if the Pro is 4, 4.1 T-flops, I expect the PlayStation 5 between 8, 8.5 to 9 T-flops. But, neither here, they're selling that question. Also, we're talking about the Ryzen CPU, but let's talk about it. Rumor mill. So does Sony's reason for skipping next year's E3 include the PlayStation 5? That's the rumor put forward by the guy on Reddit, Ruth the Cookie. Now, listen, a lot of people called him crazy because uh, he came out, I believe it was two days before Sony made the official announcement and said, hey, this year Sony's backing out of E3. When we first heard this, people were like, nah, nah, nah. That's, they say, that's asinine. No way in hell was Sony missing out on the biggest gaming show of the, of the you know, in the world, That's, there's nothing big in the E3. Uh, but he came out, like I said, two days beforehand and said, hey, Sony will not be attending E3. Uh, but he also gave a lot of other little information in there. But a lot of people just got to the E3 thing part and shut down. Uh, but if you look further into the uh, what he said, um, he gave a lot of information. He said on the same, uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm sorry, uh, put from, sorry. Uh, skip E3 included place to file the rumor put forward by the same man who predicted the company's decision and they also revealed some interest in alleged details about the upcoming console on the red I'm sorry on the same reddit thread where the, they said Sony would avoid E3 before any official announcements were made Ruth and Cookie wrote about the long rumor places to file they claimed it will be announced sometime in the middle of next year with the full reveal coming later on at a PlayStation Experience event the PS5 will launch in either March or November 2020 stop right there now, what he's saying is that next year, around probably March, April or so, so he's going to mostly, like probably they did with the two, in 2013 with the original launch of the PlayStation 4. They didn't actually show the console. They showed, um, well, it was Infamous Second Son, Killzone, I believe, Knack. Maybe one other game. Oh, was, uh, was that game Deep Down or Deep Down? Uh, with uh, Deep Down, whatever it's called. The Capcom was making, it was like a, some type of bloodborne type game with a with a with a with a uh, knight or something. The guy had like armor on with a sword. Deep down, and they showed that too. You know what I mean? And woo, wow! I don't know what have happened to that game, but they showed a few games to tech demos, and then the um they didn't show the actual physical unit until E3 2013. So he's alluding to there's something Sony may do something like that. Come out next year around March, show the console, and have a full blowout. At the end of uh, the year, PSX is normally in December, and said so the console will launch like in March of 2020. Now, I think that will be dope, but to me, this is just an excuse them for not going to E3. This is me being a gamer, me looking forward to E3 every year to see what's new, what these companies are working on. Uh, and this is going to be my first E3 that I attend. Never been to E3 in the world. I'm sorry, never been to E3 in my life. And if you're a hardcore gamer such as myself that keeps their finger on the pulse for a gamer, you know, it's like to go to attend E3 is like uh, a kid finally going to Disney World or something like that. You know what I mean? It's it's a huge event, and there's no bigger there's no bigger stage in E3. No, 
this this fact whether you have a PlayStation event in in in, in, in Times Square free to no nothing's bigger than E3 as far as with media coverage everyone's there but enough of that so he also took the score down a little further he said uh, there's a few things I want to talk about he says really could describe the PS5 as being a monster a 4K 60 stable and at the same time then try in the same kind of monster added his features a Ryzen 8 core CPU, which aligns with previous users back in April. It was claimed that the console will also use a custom GPU based on AMD's upcom upcoming Navi architecture. Um, so they're ready, just to mention that most developers already have PS5 dev kits, and in numerous, I'm sorry, in another uh. Uh, rumor we heard earlier this year is that the uh, machine will cost five hundred dollars. Game Watch who said there are three big upcoming PS4 titles: uh, Death Stranding, The Last of Us Part Two, and The Ghost of Tsushima will all be PS5 launch games. We still don't know if backwards compatibility will be present, but it seems as a safe bet. Here's the thing: um, I also kind of think that those games will be cross-generation games. I was mean like I give you an example: when Forza Horizon Two came out, it was on the 360. And the Xbox One with Titanfall was on the 360, and the Xbox One Destiny was on the PS4, PS3, Little Big Planet. So that's not nothing new. We've seen that being done this generation. Um, but if I also said this, I said if we're already getting in some game on the X, you get some games that are native 4K. You know, what I mean, what's going to be the selling pitch for next generation? Uh, we're talking about Death Stranding, The Last of Us Part Two, and it goes to Tsushima. Those games are going to be dynamic 4K, whatever you want to call it, on the PS4 Pro. 30 frames a second. Now, it will be a huge selling point for the PS5 if those Remy Set games could be native 4K, 60 frames a second. Whoa. 60 frames locked. Yeah. Native 4K. Not a 4K, but the six, we do need a, a boost up in frame rate. But again, that would be another huge selling point uh, for the next generation console. At a minimum, if we're already getting 4K now in some games, upscale or whether dynamic or however they get there, it's no brainer. 4K should be the minimum. And I don't expect them to use those same very, very anemic Jaguar core CPUs. Ryzen is what they're working on. It's been out now for a few years. It's already kind of cheap, you know, much cheaper than Intel in certain cases. And um, they should have it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Next generation hardware. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, but I think that it's dope. This is true. You know what I mean? We're supposed to get, uh, if not mistaken, uh, we're supposed to get four Death Stranding, The Last of Us 2. Rumor has it. And it goes to Tsushima uh, launch dates or when they release dates for these games at the Video Game Award. You know what I mean? Also, he says here that additionally, the, the PlayStation. Uh, VR is also getting a successor. The current version of Breaker Box is being moved inside the console while the PlayStation VR 2 will have a built in camera. Moreover, um, uh, new PlayStation Move controls are in development. Sony is also said to be testing more, you know what I mean, uh, virtual reality gloves. Now, listen, I said this back when VR has been up over two years. I have yet to try it. Now, hear me out. PlayStation VR is, was, or still is, the most successful VR device to come out this generation. So more than the HTC Vive, so more than the Oculus Rift. Um, and also, what's the time was the cheapest. But what's, I said that this thing will have problems being caught onto the masses or even casual because A, it's a four, it has a $400 price tag, right? The, 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 you had a, it's always a, 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 not bad, but you know what I mean? I guess you could say that. To have a peripheral that costs just a not, a not more than your console. Now you look at the Kinect, broke all types of records. The Kinect was $150. It had games like Just Dance and stuff like that. Michael and the cow shoes went out there and rubbed it up and bought it up. Now hear me out. When I, was, when I did a video about this maybe last week, and I said I don't expect the PS4, I'm sorry, the PlayStation 5, there'd be no 10T flops. Because rumor has it that the PS5 is going to have some versions, uh, will have some VR hardware baked into the console you know what i mean so they can get rid of that breaker box and give us a cheaper headset glass is probably for about 200 dollars. so again it can be bought by the masses so look at what happened with the original xbox at the start of the generation 2013 it was a five dollar console it was weaker than the playstation 4 but the reason why the five dollar price that because it included the connect you know what i mean so that's what you know what i mean and again microsoft came out had the more expensive hardware the, the the weaker hardware, but it was included peripheral. You know what I mean? That they didn't even support themselves. Now the same thing with the PlayStation Five. They're gonna offset the the cost somewhere. You know what I mean? So I don't expect a 10T flop console 
VR baked into it, all that for virus rising CPU, 4K see for five hundred dollars. Ain't no way in hell. I hope that I'm wrong, but I don't see that happening. I don't. I don't see Sony taking that big of a hit on the hardware. I don't. I don't. I don't. But we shall see. I hope that I'm wrong. But and again, for someone such as myself who's yet to try VR, maybe if I'm lucky enough this year at, at Black Friday, I can finally get me a VR headset or something and try Tetris and Astro Bot and everyone's keep talking about. It. I have yet to try it, but you know what I mean. But it is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. These next generation rumors are not going away. I know some guys say, hey, next just got me a next. I just got me a PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm happy with what I got. You guys are also going to realize that this generation started in 2013. The X and the PlayStation 4 Pro were made for people like us, the hardcore guys that are here right now watching this video, right? That care about having the latest and greatest, you know, performance. Uh, you know what I mean? But those consoles, again, were made to not a... A, a next generation hardware but just made to run your existing library or your future titles better you want a little slightly higher frame rate higher resolution you know and some game you know i mean have you know have a higher uh, uh um text with better graphics you know what i mean that's just slightly better and to be fair those those in and 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 no i'm gonna say this for another video but even if you do have a pro you do have x do things look better yeah but it's not leaps and bounds about what we already have and which is a bummer you're going from one point the original xbox is 1.3 the original playstation 4 2013 hardware was 1.8 so you went from 1.8 to 4 see 4.1 t flop you went from 1.3 to 6.1 t flop you think games will be you know leaps and bounds above what we already had and that wasn't the case that's another video for another day but anyway let me know what you think in the comment section below are you my friend excited for next generation hardware the PlayStation 5 is here in months. I'm excited. I can't wait. And, um, see my shirt? Retired what? I'm a retired crank dealer. So I'm bugging out. But this is your boy next year, 720. I'm out of here. Ugh.